Welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. Thank you once again for tuning in for another episode of Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. And thanks to all of our new viewers and subscribers. Yeah. And thank you for all the people who've just been, you know, our ride or die mm. since we started. And we so appreciate you, each and every one of you. And thank you again for your comments. And before we get into what today's topic is on Conversations with Sharon and Rosa, um, we want to give a couple shout outs. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to give a shout out once again to Dr. Paulette Johnson on Real Women Real Talk 91.3 WVST. T and that is also a radio station at Virginia State University. <laughs> so, and Dr. Paulette Johnson was one of my professors when I was at, uh, <laughs> I was getting ready to say Cal State, San Marcos, <laughs> when I was at Virginia State University. And, Yay. Um, Yay. So I'm going to always give her a shout out and um, let her know that it's because of you. I am here today able to even, you know, do my platform. So right. got to definitely give you some some props on your platform. Talking about women helping women. Yes, wow. helping women. So yes. um, that takes us into today's topic. Whoa. What What is it, Rosa? <laughs> you So today's topic on conversation with Sharon and Rosa is collaboration versus competition and what does that mean wow and why did we even go there today Mm -hmm. so one of the main reasons is we wanted to just um let people know that it is actually okay to help your sisters or your brothers collaboration versus competition what is that Wow. Wow. You know, they, it's pretty early on a Sunday morning to be throwing out those words. And, you know, one of the reasons, you know, like we get so many, um, you get a lot of feedback and people just ask, how do we come up with the topics? And, you know, last week we got a little gritty with the, uh, you know, safe, safe sex. sex. And we had over 1.8 thousand people, you know, just, you know, checking views. It, yeah, the views, just checking it out. Because once you say the word sex, you get everybody's attention. Okay. Well, we're not saying the word sex today. We're talking about collaboration versus competition. And we had to go to a little right of center because there's so many things that are affecting black women. And let's not forget, our mission statement is to connect, inform, entertain, and provide information Mm -hmm. uh, to the black lesbian community out there to to make us better, Mm -hmm. to make us aware, to make us more whole and more focused. So... With Rosa coming up with the uh, collaboration vice competition, and believe me, we have some stories for you, but we won't we won't tell them all. But you know, let's even define what we're talking about. You know, what is collaboration? It's really when you you know when you work with another person or another group mm-hmm. to achieve a goal. You know, to support the mission. You know, you have to have a shared goal for you to want to work together with a person to achieve a result, a desired result. You know, uh, remember, one plus one does not equal two. It equals three, five, or seven because it's about synergy. It's it, about the new math, too. Right. So or the new, well, it's, you know, it's all of what <laughs> Rosa knows and what Sharon knows. That new math. But, uh, oh, she's, she's so cute. Uh, yeah, you know, so it's, it's what we know together. That's more than two. Yeah. It's three, it's five, and seven. And when you join us, it's much more than, than that. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, collaboration is very very important out there we have so many sisters out there starting their own business mm-hmm. going out on their own trying to redefine themselves and I'm gonna tell you any successful woman out there more or less one any successful black woman did not get there by herself mm-hmm. all right your family and sometimes it also is the um, behind the scenes collaboration too everything is not up front you know where you got to mm-hmm. be in the face of whatever you know, conversing to whomever. Sometimes it's behind the scene. That collaboration of getting something together, mm-hmm. making it work, that people don't even see that part of it. Right. But it's all, you know, under the same umbrella, and it's all needed. Oh, it's, yeah. it's needed. And, and, and if you need it, I, you know, 
when we do these these uh, segments and we try to keep it at 30 minutes, no more than 35, you know, it's just to give you some little pearls to think about. When I say pearls, I mean <laughs> like uh, Kamala, you know, just some pearls, <laughs> you know, j- just to think about some little things, maybe something that we're going to say today will help you, will sink in, will give you that aha moment. And it's like, yes, you know what I mean? To, to just to testify to your own life, you know, what you need right now. And you may hear it today. You may hear it elsewhere. But the core of it is uh, black women helping black women to do even better. Absolutely. So that, Absolutely. that's, um, you know, collaboration. But then there's this evil twin sister called competition. And maybe I shouldn't, you know, phrase it as competition, but competition simply defined is one person um, working against another person to achieve their own goals. If you got to build a red house and I got to build a red house, but I'm too focused on blowing your house down, you know, to focus on my red house because we feel that we are in competition with each other. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily so. So I'm asking you, you know, what's your thinking? Mm -hmm. Because your thinking defines your life. In it's, which in which one of those define you? You know, are mm-hmm. you a collaborator or you are like in competition with people? Like for me, I've always been a collaborator, not in a form where I'm so focused with um, hooking up with people, but I just always wanted people to do well. And mm-hmm. whatever that looked like for me to help them, that's what I was going to do. Whether it was the small part or maybe playing even a larger part, I've never wanted to be in competition, Stop. as they say. Mm-hmm. Never wanted to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah, so when we're talking about competition, it's it's got to be uh, something that you want to do, and you ran into somebody else who wants to do the same thing, and immediately you think that you're co- your mm-hmm. competition, as mm-hmm. opposed to what we just said about synergy, one plus one does not equal two. Right. It equals much more than that. So it's not a, you know, I don't know why we automatically put ourselves in that mode. Uh, when I heard a friend was opening up a bakery shop, and then my other friend was opening up a pie shop. I'm like, <laughs> why don't they just get together and open up a big bakery? You know, because it's the thinking. It's our thinking that gets in oftentimes to get in the way of our own success. Yeah. It's uh, how do you view the world? It's the uh, the glass is half empty or is it half full? Well, I tell you what, if you come into the room and there's a glass, a, a glass half full, if you're thirsty, that's a lot of water. Someone else may have the same experience and just say, why do I only have half a glass? Because you're constantly searching for more when more is right in front of you. Some of us think there's only one glass, one table, one chair. And I will tell you, there's many rooms, there's many houses, there's many streets. You don't know where your blessings are going to come in and find you. Mm -hmm. So what we're asking you to do today is first think about it. How do you see the world? How do you connect with one another? Uh, do you come from the, the place of collaboration or competition? Mm-hmm. You know, when we go out to, to the club, somebody can tell you, girl, girl, you wearing that dress. And then here comes somebody else wearing the same dress. And does that make you any less lovely? Yeah, exactly. We've seen that. Like, um, I got- But we're women. That's like what are we are we what are we uh, nature are we are we are we raised to be in constant competition? Uh, but I don't know if that's a good analogy, analogy. because mm-hmm. I mean you know we as women are just kind of raunchy like that. You know what I'm but saying? But do we, we have to be? You say raunchy. I've seen raunchy. But okay. but but do we have to be that? No, way? and we don't have to be. I mean, it's just like if you saying because a woman came in at a club with the same outfit you wear. I mean, our our first thought is to to look for what's wrong, wrong. with what she's what she has on mm-hmm. with hers. Even if in your mind you know she looks good in it too. You know what I'm saying? You look good. She look good. Why can't you both just look good in the outfit? You got to go there. Like, right, right. But she need to do them toes because they don't the, the shoes don't even go well, with the outfit. This? Or they say, um, she needs to. Great so, minds think alike. You know what I mean? Like, girl, yeah. look, we must be shopping at the same place. Exactly. Or, whatever. or she must be cool because she got good taste. Or whatever it is, we... We just don't do that. You know, we go to the whole negative, like, you know, 
well, she need to do something with them teeth because da 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 da. I mean, it's got to be something Demean- that's demeaning and negative to a make takeaway. it seem like you look better th- in that dress than she does. But, what, what, just, but is it just because we're just all women? We are. But I, I think we're oftentimes too up that we're socialized to not think of other women as our friends. It's yeah. simple as that. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, my waistline is, is smaller. You know, my skin looks good. Her hair ain't done. You know, we're always going on the physicals and all that, and that's so yeah. unfair. Well, that's and, all you have to go on is the physicals. So, well, I mean, but why, do, why, but why do we have to go there? I mean, you know. You don't know anything else about it. If a woman walks in the club with the same dress, what do you know about it? Unless you mm. know her. Mm. All you see is what mm. you, all you know is what you see. Right. And when she walks in there, that's, that's all you have to go on. So you have to, you know, say what you have to say and just, well, or just ignore it. Like, I mean, I've been there. I'm definitely guilty of it. Uh-huh. But, I knew it. I knew it. You, you're one of those same, women. No, not, not all. Mm-hmm. Because I have seen some women who, you know, didn't even have the same outfit on. And they came and I'm like, oh, she looks nice, you know, in her outfit, whatever the, the it, it may be. But, um. But as far as, you know, collaborating and, you know, being in competition versus being in competition with someone, it's like, it's on a bigger scale than that for me. Oh, yeah, you of know, course it is. I'm just keeping it light. So the question is today, you know, what we're going to spend a few minutes on is just that when we see each other, black women, why do we automatically think that we're each other's competition? Why do you assume that I'm not here to help you? Or you don't know who I know, you don't know my contacts, you don't know who I'm uh, connected to, or what I may very well do for you. Why is that? Well, I'm, I'm just looking for a deeper and broader, uh, more expansive sisterhood that I'm not saying it's not happening, but it's too often it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Too often is when it doesn't happen and that kind of bothers me. So here we go. Today, I'm asking us all, just take a moment and be reflective. Uh, we are black women, uh, for black women, from black women, about black women. And when I see a sister walk in the door, uh, you know, I'm just like, you know, hello. Hello, my sister. That's how She's I truly She's saying feel. hello for different reasons. Not at Trust all. and believe that. <laughs> I'm not saying hello. I'm just saying, saying hello. I'm saying hi. Uh, seriously, it's um. I don't know why we have to go to the far left about it. Uh, when I see a black woman, she is my reflection. She's my family, and I welcome her. Mm-hmm. So I do think it is my responsibility, your responsibility, our responsibility to see what we can do to help, support, love encourage engage talk to her celebrate her choose her let her uh, encourage her what it's all of those things and i know that relationship just doesn't start from uh you know first minute i see you but i do think we should be mindful of that Mm -hmm. you know and remember your thinking is what's going to define your life you change your thinking you simply have just changed your life well that's the whole thing with today's topic it's like you know, we have to change our thinking and able to be, as Maya Angelou said, be a rainbow in somebody else's life, you know? So yes. you want to yes. be able to um, come with, you know, positive energy towards whomever is doing it. And we, and I think for black women too, we don't realize, you know, when our season is here, you know, we think our season needs to be when somebody else's season is, is in, in season, mm-hmm. you know, this because they're doing great. That is so wonderful. But it may not be your time to be great right now. Yes. It may be just your time to help someone who's doing great. To get And then, you know, your blessing is coming. Your season, it will be there. It's coming. If it hasn't come already, it's it's coming. It's on its way. Yeah. 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 So I think we um, get confused a little bit with, um, you know, ah, she, you know, starting her business. And I've been trying to start mine for, you know, 15 years now. It just may not be the time. And when you start yours, it's going to boom so quick that if you had started it 15 years ago, you still be struggling with it. (laughs) So sometimes it's just timing. And sometimes it's like, let's just get in the mindset of helping others. And I like what you say, especially about blessings, because the blessings for us, for me individually, you out there, uh, it has, it has your name on it. Your blessing is not my blessing. Mm-hmm. I can't block your blessing if I chose to. Mm-hmm. Not that I would. So 
we're um and i don't care I mean, when i'm talking about uh black women the, the the umbrella of all black women but i'm also we're focusing on our community when i'm talking about the black lesbian community and you know we're not that big we're, la- we're larger than a lot of us think mm-hmm. of, think we are but you know when i don't care what city you, you you live in or what you know little you know hub you're in you know other black women because we show up at the clubs and we mm-hmm. show up at the you know regular place or the pool hall or whatever and you know we know family knows family game knows game <laughs> we know who we are we party together we celebrate uh, ourselves because oftentimes others won't but when i see it happening in our own community i, I have to poo poo it i have to poo poo it and and to give you a little story about how how we have um recently been evolving Mm -hmm. when Rosa and I were you know thinking about like what can we do to get the word out more and create more cohesiveness and you know so we chose ourselves to be messengers and we've been doing okay with it but we went to the point is we went to other people and we were asking them well Rosa will tell you you know we went to other people to see what they were doing how were they were doing it what did success look like and all of that so some were well, just what? just was you know just doing the the research you know and and just coming up with um, how we were going to spend our platform here on the YouTube um, channel mm-hmm. and um, you know what it looked like and what was already out there and you know we didn't get a lot of um, hate you know we got a lot of people giving us great feedback mm-hmm. and um, you know even with doing the research and looking at videos and finding just good videos on how to do it so much better within our community, you know? So um, it was a a good experience for us. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to come to you today with this show is because, you know, we can't do it all alone and we didn't do it all by ourselves. You know, we need, you know, other shoulders to stand on as they say. And um, we want to be that shoulder as well. So it's like, what does that look like? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If somebody is wants to start up, what role do you play? And sometimes it, it's not for you to play a role, just to be a supporter. Right, sometimes right, just to be a guest, that, exactly. Mm-hmm. That, you know, it calls for. But the main thing is just don't hate on them. If you can't even support them, right. don't hate on them. Like, right. I would never, you know, put your business down to somebody else. Even if I didn't like your business right right oh didn't like, have a particular girl, don't what? go to her she have a particular it, need for your business but someone yeah. does i mean and i don't care if you're running around doing uh, legal paperwork for people door to door or you make cookies or you still tailor clothes mm. and whatever it is that you do because look we are black people we all have a side hustle yeah exactly. we know we we got a hustle you right, know but and we what, do it well but what your service do, does for me you know may not necessarily be what it does for someone else. else so yes. you know because i may not be the biggest fan they may be so Absolutely. let me send whomever i know your way yeah and and fan and, hold and on, put hold the on. word out but fan or not you know your spirit has to be right yeah as simple as like you yeah. know it's just like like maybe i don't need um i don't need someone to come and 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 do some paperwork for me or whatever case may be but i know somebody who needs your services Yes. Right, as simple as that. Yes. Um, I have a friend. He's uh, just starting his business. He's uh, um, he comes to your house and cooks for you. You know, and guess what? He's really good at what he does. Right. Now, sometimes we simply can't afford his work or whatever. But you know what? When we get a call for, hey Sharon, I need a chef. Uh, we're doing twenty people. Can you can you turn me on to somebody? Got somebody for you. Right. You know what I mean? So you, even if you are not in the hallelujah corner, you don't have to be in the poo poo corner. Absolutely. It's it, it simple as that. So again, we because fo- we are we are all here to help each other be lifted. And as mm-hmm. they say, when I grow, we all grow. When you grow, we all grow. Now, and when you yes. fail, we all fail too. Yeah, just a little, but we don't. But oh, or just stumble because when you have that many people helping you, they won't let you fail. Mm-hmm. And that and that's the joy of having support. And so yeah, so today we're definitely hammering on the the the, the sisterhood. Um, there was somebody I wanted to give a, a shout out to, but I couldn't remember the name because again, right now we're taping and we got a lot of things going on in <laughs> mind, and we're also looking at the uh, display board over there. Uh, but it was um, it's two black women and their friends and all that, Lucy and Gail, and they uh, they live in. 
Palm Springs, California, and they've been putting on wonderful shows and yeah. venues and exciting events yes. for years, years. For the gay community. For the gay community, yeah. for women of color, for yes. us, for us Is that a word? <laughs> yeah. For us All right? So, and I have to say, you know, the, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate them, and what they're doing may not be what I'm doing and me and Rose are doing, but it still, it pours into the same cup. Yeah. It goes into the same bowl. And they bring and, a lot of people together. Yes, they do. You and, know, and I've was, met a lot of people, just the whole jazz weekend. Oh, yeah, the jazz shows they have out yeah, there. And, and um, just, you know, going there with uh, Sharon. We've met a lot of people. Mm-hmm. A, lot a lot of, of good people. Them. A lot of good people. So the reason why so. um, we're just throwing that out is because, you know, we, we do events and we do put little parties together and all that. They're not my competition. I'm saying I'm standing on the Hallelujah uh, Trail with them because they've done they've been out there so long, much longer than we have, and been doing a great job. So us saying wonderful things about them doesn't cost us. It, anything. it doesn't cost us anything. You, you you see what I'm saying? So I would like, and Rose and I've talked about it in in, in great length. And there's so much going on right now. There's a, it's a new wind blowing. One thing I want us to look at us. Look at us. Look at you know. Be self reflective, and you know. Let's get it together. We're doing good, but we surely can do much better. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about black women helping other black women. I'd like to see more uh, business opportunities, more social gatherings, more opportunities. I always say, feed yourself first. Mm-hmm. We are black women. We're black lesbians. We're in our own community, and believe me, no one's going to help us as the way the way that we can help us. So with that, if you get nothing else from today's shows, uh, please just just be mindful that you know who you are, who we are, who we're trying to be, and we can be better tomorrow than we are today. Absolutely, Rosa. Absolutely, and we just want to bring to you that you know, just be okay with helping people in their time of need. And, you know, we are grateful and thankful to all of you all who helped us grow. We're growing. I mean, still got a long way to go. But um, our YouTube channel kind of took off quicker than I, you know, thought it would be. And that's because of you all. And we couldn't have done that without you. So thank you for... You know, Helping that us. support. Yes. Yeah. And, and continued support because every week. And you know, spreading the word. That's the part of, yes. you know, yeah, that's support. collaborating, mm-hmm. supporting, you mm-hmm. know, being being um, present and helping us, you know, to grow. It's just sharing the word. So we thank you for that. We definitely thank you for that. And that's kind of what, too, you know, drew us to this uh, this uh, the, the topic today. today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And because um, every now and then you got to just slow down and check yourself out. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we have some very lofty topics coming up. Uh, I think we're going to be uh, like, oh, I mean, two weeks ago we did, uh, uh, was it not just a safe sex, but uh, we talked about cheating. Um, mm-hmm. Going forward, we're going to be, um, we're going to, well, some other things that's, that's coming up, but we're going to be talking about bisexual sisters yeah. uh, because they deserve their own, their whole show, their own show too. You know what I mean? We're going to be talking about that topic. Um, we're going to, um, we're going to retouch finances again because it's very, very, very important. Um, we're talking, we're even talking about COVID. Uh, we, yeah. we talked, we addressed it lightly, but there's so much more to be said about it because it's affecting our community mm-hmm. times two. Actually mm-hmm. it's two times six. We're more, um, Chances are we'll get it two times six yeah. quicker mm-hmm. than the average uh, white person. But uh, but any event, uh, that's our message today, and um, we hope that you find some some good words out of it and think about it, chew on it. And next week, what what are we doing next week? Oh, we got a list of stuff. I don't know which one we're going to pinpoint. Yeah, yeah. Cause, <laughs> you know, because as soon as we obligate ourselves to something, we'll change our mind by Wednesday. You're like, oh, no, we're changing everything, and we got to tape again or whatever. But, yeah. you know, we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, you guys have um, – you guys been helping us, supporting us, and loving us in a different way, and I we thank you for that, and we, we totally appreciate you. And when I when I when, when we know what's coming from Black women times yes. two, we appreciate it coming from everyone. But when it's coming from Black women to other Black women, oh wow, you know yes. our heart jumps. And don't miss that opportunity to give someone a compliment. Oh yes, a compliment, a good word, or you know, share your blessing. Yes, you know, so because sometimes just the simple words that you have to say to them, 
is all they needed to hear. And since we're here today giving um, shout outs, <laughs> I do want to um, give one uh, shout out whom I think, uh, and she's on Facebook, so you guys can uh, look her up if you want. I'm sure she she's okay with uh, friending her if need be, but um, so positive, always putting positive messages on Facebook, mm -hmm. always lifting other people up. Yes. I have to give a shout out to Trish Tucker who is one of our biggest fans as well. So yeah. we thank you, Trish. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've Trish. You've been in our our rah rah corner since day one too. You you really have and, and I appreciate you for that, sis. Trish got a birthday coming up, but that's not, we'll talk later. Oh, she okay. Does? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. You know I follow the birthday. So look, until next time, we're wishing you the very best. Of all good things. Stay safe and stay woke. Thank you. <laughs>